Evening folks, I'm going to name this one a bit of a rant. It's not really a rant, it's just a, it's a something that has come up again through conversations and videos we've watched on, online. There's lots of different ideas I'm thinking of, but I'm just going to talk about this one idea for now. It's about when to attack, stepping in, follow the weapon. It's a basic rule that it's not just a human idea. This is generally for any martial art you're doing. Again, like any rule, it can be uh, broken. I can give you examples of how to break it and when to break it. But as a general rule, it works well. The general rule is, follow the weapon. When I attack someone, whatever the weapon is, I want the weapon to go first. Basic one, so down on, and then we'll start with a punch. If I'm going to punch him, if I do something like this, when I step in with my weapon up here, I'm going to get smacked in the face, he's going to stop me, he's going to punch me, whatever the hell he wants, wants to do, because there's no threat to him. He doesn't have to, there's no weapon coming towards him, it's just me. Weapons up there, I'm step stepping in. I cannot do step, punch, there. Boxers don't do that. They don't do step, then punch. They start throwing punches, and I told me the weapon goes first, the body follows. Because if I throw the weapon first, they have to do something about the weapon. Now they might just block it and hit me anyway, but they have to do something about the weapon. You have to follow the weapon. If I'm trying to grapple them, and again, I'm not a grappler, I do a bit of wrestling, but no, no expert. But again, if I step in to grapple them without sending the weapons first, he can do what he wants. Because I'm not sending these first, I'm stepping in, then trying to send them. It's too late. Again, if I come in, weapons go first, then I've got the advantage because I'm following the weapon in. Now this applies to every weapon you can think of, whether it's hands, feet, Sticks, swords, knives. I'll do the one on knives. Generally, yes, but you can get away with it more than I can. And anyway, so you pick up a sword, because that's one of the things people like to play with. Whether it's a Western sword, Japanese sword, Chinese sword, doesn't matter. If I start in this position and I step and attack, that's going to go through my head, no matter what I try and do. You might recognise this one. If I start in this position and I step and attack, it's not going to work. Okay, I see quite often in all fields of martial arts, but we'll start with this one because a lot of you people will probably know the Japanese art of Tang and so on. What often happens is as you get taught it, you'll see people do step, then cut. Now, I understand why it's very comfortable to, to do. And it's very easy to do what I call a sort of fishing line. So it's that. It's quick, but I'm still not going to get away with it because I'm still doing step and this. He's going to hit me. Okay? You follow the weapon. I want to do this and keep safe. This goes first. Then I come after it. Now you might catch it, but it's again, it's a 50 50 hands and bending and so on. If I do it at speed, you better block it. It's fine, but he couldn't ignore it. He couldn't attack me. You have to do something about it. You might just sidestep and come down and hit me. It doesn't matter. If I do a, a general sort of, what we call a forehand board, uh, you see a lot of humor, uh, sparring matches starting like this. If I step in without sending the weapon first, head's gone. If I send the weapon first, worst case scenario, probably 50 50. But at least again, you can't ignore it. If we start from here, if I step, as you can do, I haven't done anything yet. But if the weapon goes first, again, can't, can't ignore it. No matter the art, if you get the uh, kendo, kenjutsu, whatever, it doesn't matter. The general rule of follow the weapon applies. Now again, any rule can be broken if you know why you're breaking it. But as a general rule of thumb, if you're doing a lot of Eastern arts and you start with here, just from my point of view, and it's a general just idea, it doesn't matter what the art is. If you send the weapon first, and after the weapon's in front, then I go, your opponent has to do something about the weapon. They cannot ignore it. If I step, too soon, without sending the weapon, even as I'm coming down with this weapon, too, 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 too late. That's already in your face, that's good, uh, I'm 
you dead. Okay, so just a little rant about keep that idea in your head, no matter what the weapon is, staff weapons, sticks, doesn't matter. Weapon goes first. And I want all the exceptions where people tell me, yeah, but, and that's fine. But just remember, no matter who's teaching you a weapon art, even if it's not a weapon, weapon art, whatever art you're thinking about, make sure you stay safe by sending the dangerous thing at them. Thank you very much.